We're gonna do some bait fishing today. I got some clam, got some bunker. I'll wait and see what happens. Uh, I know there's been getting bluefish outside of here. Uh, they could come through any day, any week. Uh, could be bass. Definitely our skates. Uh, that's for sure. So that's actually a good sign. It could be a frontal wave or it could be waves of skates and waves of game fish coming through. So we got the bait out to see how that all plays out today. So we'll see. All right, we're gonna be doing some bait today. Um, I'm gonna start with a circle hook. Uh, a little early for those blues, but they could certainly be around. So when I start getting bitten off, I'm gonna use a regular hook. Uh, but until then, we got the J hook working. So I'm getting started here. And then I got a 6-0 circle. I got clam and bunker, so we'll see what's going on. I'm gonna drop on a six ounce weight in a second. Now, one thing I found with these circle hooks, if you're not too familiar with them, what I sometimes do is just a tad bit of slack in your line, gives that fish time to pick it up, get it in, it, in, its, in its, its mouth cavity, and that slack will come out, and that hook will come out slowly because you got that slack in your line. So if you're not too familiar with how to set the hook, just give your line a little bit of slack. So when they grab that, they take in that slack and it gives you time to react. What I like to do is, my leftover bunker, they're good. I have, some days I've had better fishing on a frozen bunker, salted, than I do on fresh. Just how it goes. But I uh, will save two or three and I'll freeze them. And I'll use them for my ice pack for my pressure bunker, which I'm going to start with. And I have clam too. so. I'm going to have clam. I'll show you how I'm going to cut everything to start. Could change. That's a nice, nice strip. <clears throat> to remove the scallop, throw that in the water. That makes a nice piece. And these are mm, small to medium clam. So I can get three strips. Maybe even two. I should have did two. But I'm going to cut them in strips with a little bit of guts on each strip. That's how I like to start. And the bunker. This back piece is great for blue fish or anything. And I'm going to start a little bit small just to see what's out. And we'll get bigger as we go. That's how I'm going to cut my bait. So I actually shifted down uh, maybe Ooh. I'm not sure what that is. It's got to be a skate. Let's see. Yeah, he's got to be a skate. The first skate of 2021. Let's see. Maybe something behind these skates, I don't know. The water's starting to warm. And it's dropping. Oh wow, it's a skate. Big one. You get him unhooked and on his way. You grab the bunker trunk. It's just easier to use your hands. There's a skater. You gotta be careful with them. They got all kinds of spines on the back. And uh, don't do this the way I grab them. Uh, These are about three pounds. But 
should take real caution. They'll tear up your hands. I've just been doing that for a while, so. The birds? I don't know, but it's a pretty big body of them, that's for sure. Probably be some big bluefish under them. It's got to be a couple football fields long. We'll go from there all the way out there. And they're definitely closer because I could see them. Did you get them? Yeah, it might be a skate. Oh, stay where you are. I just want to tighten the line. Sometimes they eat it in your pistol. No, got it. That's good. Once we start picking that bluefish, I'm going to keep with the circle hooks. I'm going to try a clam this round. I'll take this one medium. hit when it goes down that's when you got some good fishing all right so we got skates we've just seen a little bass so we'll see like I said sometimes it's just easy to get those circles out with your hands if you can Like I said, be careful handling these guys. They got spikes. You can see them right there, right where my thumb is. And they'll cut you good. I'm going to go back to the bunker. And uh, make sure you got some good hook clearance with your circle. And I uh, actually prefer probably a 7 or 9 0, but that's just as well. There he is. I think I saw him. Uh huh. Oh, yeah.
Get that. Huh? Oh, yeah. There are schoolies out. They're real small. I'm hoping to get through them at some point. It's that one good fit. He came back. Is he there? See what these here birdies do. You got them? Skate or? Yeah. They look like a big one. They don't want the clam as much. You got them in quick. Let's see how good he's hooked. A good hook set. Perfect. Okay, these guys have. Ooh. An escape? So we had a couple skates today. The water still seems kind of cold, um, but definitely should be some bluefish around soon. Really could be any day, any hour, and uh, definitely bass around. I thought there'd be some around with this overcasty sky. Um, definitely on the clam or the worms. Um, but uh, got those skates and gonna uh, give it a go next time around. But uh, thanks for watching. I oh, hope you have a good afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are. Remember, always fish your way. Again, don't do that. <laughs>